Hey guys, welcome to um, another uh, week of uh, Circuit Ponchos with the dead. Hey. Hi! We have um, a new setup today, we can see... Um, oh, Kaylee have a camera around too, nice. All fixed. Yeah, we have all of us showing our face today, so it'd be fun. Hopefully not disgusting. Hope not. <laughs> <laughs> so, use what's going on this week? Oh, this week is uh, my favorite week. Is we have a uh, <laughs> week three. We actually we extended our AI to now you can play AI. Um, you can fill AI bots in deathmatch and in domination in rookie mode. So. Um, last week we threw in AI as a test in free for all, and we had it. You could auto start a free for all mode. Um, it worked out pretty well. This week we extended it. We added behavior so that they recognize their teams. So what it means is for rookies, you know, you never have to wait for a match again. If you have one guy or two guys in your lobby, you just hit uh, um, auto start match, and it'll it'll populate all the empty slots with AI, and you get bounty for um, matches against the AI in rookie mode. Awesome. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. So hopefully that'll let the advanced guys just focus on rank mode and then the rookies will be able to learn in a safe environment with other rookies and bots. That's what we should call rookie mode, rookies and bots. Rookie and bots. It's kind of like a new ice cream favor. Yeah. yeah. Is there a spaghetti western word for bots? Yeah. <laughs> machine? Man versus machine? Robo banditos? <laughs> Steam Bandits? Steam Bandits, that's pretty good. Except when we bring it to PSN. Look at Kaylee's face. I, I, can, <laughs> I can only fit three. We'll, we'll move to Kaylee if... Uh, well, just fit three. Just, just hit three? Alright. We, we can show this here. There, My face has some there grit, grit on it. Okay. <laughs> Yusuf's got his grit skin on today. <laughs> today? <laughs> uh, we we can move from uh, Yusuf to Kaylee whenever. This is cool. Well, um, Silas is asking some questions about will kills and deaths from the AI be used towards your kill death system? Um, we're not sure yet. I mean, we're gonna probably we're just gonna like let it go on early access for like a week or something, and we'll see what happens, and then we'll we'll make adjustments. Um, part of me likes the idea that. Part of me likes the idea that um, rookies can gain experience from fighting bots, that they shouldn't be penalized if a bot is in the slot instead of a human. Um, and I think that it all depends on their new rank system, because the rank system now is the new hardcore competitive system where hardcore players tra track their stuff, and these bots won't have any impact on the rank system. So it just means that the other leaderboards can be a little bit more casual. Um, and so, I don't know, we'll, we'll look at you guys' feedback on this. Um, I'm hoping that we can keep it, uh, keep it. The other leaderboards are slightly more casual, and then we can leave it so that bots, can, bot matches, still can impact those. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We always end up fixing stuff based on how you guys play. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So give us feedback all the time, anytime. Um, okay, I invited Kaylee and Chris to my team. And I'm going to move the camera over to Kaylee so we can see his face while he shoots me in the back with Gordo. You mean while I listen to you complain? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Okay, you want to search. You guys playing ranked? Yeah, ranked yeah. 3 of 3. I'm going to see if I can uh, sneak on the other team. Oh wait, I don't want to be Phantom Poncho. What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wiped my characters by accident, so... Yeah, I've been there ba before. Yeah, back to Petty. <laughs> I'm back up to Drifter, at least. How did you wipe your characters by accident? I sunk to an old... Wrong build. I sunk to an old build. A really old uh, one. Putting me on camera was like the worst idea ever. All I want to do is inappropriate things like check my nose and my teeth. 
<laughs> this ruins your whole Saturday morning routine. Hey, dude, I have to do this every week. <laughs> I think that you don't see me normally do it. Yeah. Hey. Stop picking your beer. <laughs> <laughs> This is how I normally am. It's like Jin, Jin Matador. Yeah, and, and I'm I'm in there too. Oh, you're the killer. Man, the Gordos were like really killing me last night. <laughs> There's a lot of Gordo. Yeah, shiny and uh, Kaylee and uh, Chivy. Uh, yeah. Sometimes Jin, I think. Too. Hey, hey, Tony, you should you should broadcast the game. I oh, think you're right. Yeah. The clock yeah. is nice, though. But quit trying to stick your <laughs> clock art into all our streams. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. There you go. <laughs> By the way, guys, uh, I uh, I'm Tony, and I made this clock art by copying some art over from other art. <laughs> Shit! It's already three o'clock on our twelve-week program. <laughs> we only have nine before we ship. We better hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I never would have dreamed that we'd have bots in our game. I'm so excited that we now have bots. And they're going to get better and better. Oh, the lighting looks nicer, Tony, in the in the lobby. Yeah, we did some lighting polish uh, on the lobby. And we also did some, um, you know, a little HUD polish here and there to make everything just look more uh, finished. Uh... You, you've been doing some tuning this week, right? And bug fixes. Yeah, um, well, I've been doing the nagging for the bug fixes, but <laughs> Darren is doing the fixing. So, um, first of all, I shortened um, Poncho's stun time, so he's he should get up on his feet a little quicker now. Yeah. It was 180 before, it should be one. Uh, no, it was 150, it should be 120 frames, so that's like two seconds even. Um, uh, killer now, if you throw two knives into the same uh, victim, he won't lose his knife, so that bug is fixed. A matador um, instant execution, like your full speed where she's running with her execute move, that's fixed. Um, lagomite is fixed, so you, you know, you nice. have invisible dynamites. Um, matador's pounce move now costs one stamina unit, so matador's be. Uh, there's a cost now to it, so you can't just uh, spam it. And um, yeah, there's been a lot of fix little fixes like that. Um, and we're going to be doing more. Uh, it's nice. We, we had a big shift from focusing on implementing features where we're just like, let's just clean do a little cleanup on all these bugs, and then we'll go back to features again. Uh, we're stuck at launching for some reason. Kaylee mm -hmm. dropped? Yeah, Kaylee dropped. Oh, so. Uh, it says I'm in a lobby with Chris right now. Chris, are you okay? I'm just stuck in the pregame with everybody else launching. Alright, I left the game. I'm going to invite you guys again. Okay, okay I'm going to leave. You know uh, what? Maybe Yusuf and I can play practice mode to show off the team stuff. For, uh, yeah, do it. AI. Sure. So let's do one. I'll move the camera back to use. See ya. So this guy... It's early access. We're just putting it in. We're putting stuff in, and it's early stages. We get feedback on it early, so it's not final. So if you see a, a bot running against the fence post, that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Chris's favorite. Um, someone, um, Did you get my invite? See, we, yeah, I think I accepted it. Uh, we have a question. From Zabari, he's asking if all these are on PC. So yeah, all these all these fixes are on PC right now, and um, there our plan is eventually when all this stuff is all together and it's all tested and it's out of beta mode, then we're gonna actually bring it over to. Um, we're hoping we can bring it over to PS4. Uh, Tony, um, can you invite me again? Yeah, I'm restarting my game. Maybe something okay. messed up in that search. Yeah, I'm gonna. Or set to. Maybe Chris can be with me. Sure. Put me in, coach. There you go. Sure. No reputation. That's fine. Uh, Intel HD 3000 users, 
the black screen problem, we found what it was. We fixed it. It should be in this update. So no more black screen. Um, we did notice though that there's another problem that some when you go to low quality, some video cards are rendering things super bright, like out of like the lighting is not what it's supposed to be. Um, the game's still playable, but um, we're, we're looking into that next. So I just don't uh, don't think that's the intended look. Oh, we got a dude. We got somebody rookie. else. So Zabari Zabari's asking about. Um, he says, "Thanks, guys. I've been out of the loop a little while. Looks like you guys are focusing on PC now." So Zabari. We're actually just focusing on the game as a whole. Um, for it, it's kind of weird. It's like in our minds, we're just making secret ponchos, and the sort of the platform that gets the first version of all the changes keeps shifting. Like in the beginning, it was PC. Then we had to make a big push on PS4, so PS4 got the new stuff. Now the PC is getting the stuff. PC is a little bit better of a format for us to be beta testing new features and and stuff on because we can do so much quick patches without going through certification. So where with Sony, we gotta kind of send them a final product, and you don't really it's expected you're not tweaking it lots and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is we're using the beta, and we're gonna implement all these features. But the plan is that these features will be able to go on both platforms. It just means that the only difference is now with early access. It means that the PC guys can actually see the stuff while we're doing it in beta format instead of it being all behind closed doors. So. Hey, one of you, do you guys want to search uh, Rookie 2v2? Sure. There. We have three people, so we couldn't. I don't want to start the AI with another player. I'll Why not? It. Why okay. not? Well, if it's me on the other team, I don't mind, but I don't know if he wants it. Okay. Let me do it. Oh, we got Old Spice. Kaylee beat you. Yeah. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Yeah. How'd you do that? <laughs> I started searching Rookie like six minutes ago. <laughs> Uh, miss, miss, missing bird. We're going to. Um, we haven't published the patch notes yet, but we're going to post it in two spots. It'll be on the. It'll be pinned in the Steam discussions. It'll be pinned in our forums, in our private like secret ponchos forums, and actually three spots. We're going to also put it um, in our on our website on the news section. So if you go to secretponchos.com, you should see it right away. Um, Kelly will do post those later today. Yeah, as soon as the stream's done, it'll be up everywhere. All the details. This is for last night, Kaylee. Oh, Zabari, thanks for the feedback. We're glad. We're glad you liked the game. We're we're hoping it just catches on and gets more of a gets discovered by the public a little more. What well, you know, guys. One of the things we learned. From our launch was it's a really good competitive game and competitive hardcore players really like it because it's like really unforgiving and it's competitive um, the thing that we didn't anticipate that we learned was we needed to do a lot of onboarding so that a, a mainstream audience can pick up the game and play it and then from that mainstream audience more people progress into competitive players so that's a lot of the stuff we're doing now is like you know, we were we were so busy making this brand new style of combat game, and we were all into how competitive it gets at a high level that we we totally uh, forgot to do proper onboarding just to bring new players on into the experience. And we, we thought we were doing it, but we didn't. We're we're no longer new players, so we didn't have the right perspective of, of <laughs> <laughs> what it really feels like when you're a new guy. So um, a lot of this stuff now we're adding, like the new tutorial, the bots. Achievement system, all that stuff is going to really help. I think build up the population and get get more casual players into it. And then when you, casual players are like the bottom of the pyramid, and then the competitive players are the top. But without the critical mass, you can't really the, the top doesn't keep. We we need a critical mass feeding so that people climb to the top. On to us, onboarding just means when you get it when you get a new game, um, like teaching you what you need to do so that you're having the intended experience. Getting you, know? you on board. Yeah, getting you on board. So you're not like, oh, what is this game? How do I do this? Like, So it's like things like tutorials. But it's not just like learning the buttons. It's also like getting you into the experience. So just getting you having fun, a competitive experience that's fun instead of just you getting killed by really tough guys and stuff like that. Yeah, so what we're finding is that 
when we started the game, it's funny, our philosophy, because we're all, you know, in our 30s, so we all grew up, we, we pretty much learned how to play Street Fighter at the arcade, getting getting killed by beat hitters over and over and over until we learned the moves, and that's how, that's how we were, when we were, like, looking at the game, we were like, it's going to be really tough to make a multiplayer online game for an indie studio, let's just put all of our time into making the multiplayer good. And I remember looking at features like a tutorial and being like, okay, we could spend four weeks building a tutorial or we could spend that four weeks building a feature that everyone can use over and over again. And we thought, well, people will play the tutorial for like one or two minutes, but the, the other time they'll, they'll get to do it over and over. So we decided always, we always made the decision, put the time into the features that are the core gameplay, not a tutorial, because a tutorial is just going to be good for the first few minutes. But what we didn't realize is the tutorial is really important because if you don't have a good tutorial, um, you're just not going to have any players <laughs> then. <so. laughs> what's What's hilarious is that um, is how dumb we are. Because <laughs> yeah, sure. we we went to like PAX in those places when we were first showing off the game, and I think this is how like the it slipped past our um, yeah, it slipped by us. Is that we in those instances where people are playing the game for the very first time, we're talking them through how to play it. And yeah. it didn't occur to us to actually make a system that the game teaches people how to play it, you know? <laughs> yeah. So we, we it just... It we just assumed we we'd be in everybody's living room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, reload, so, man. You gotta reload. Perfect Phantom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... We have no success in uh, the bot the chain right now, because we're... The game's too popular? Yeah, uh, the game... <laughs> we, we, too many people. We don't need bots. It's great. Hopefully, our user reviews of um, new people won't people won't feel like they're stuck waiting for matches to try the game out. Now they can just uh, they can just jump in, populate with some bots. And actually, the other thing we learned is um, I really like fighting. Like, so I get a game like Warcraft Three when I got it, or Starcraft, or something. I don't really learn by doing the um, campaign against the AI. I just kind of go online and play PvP until like, and I lose, 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 and then you start winning. Um, but I think a lot of people, a lot of people don't like jumping on PvP until they're really comfortable against AI. So I think this will, this will really help widen that. Where's my partner? Dead. Oh no! Oh, I have. Oh. Oh yeah, Tony. Uh, Silence asking about the holes. Yeah, we as an experiment we've patched up the holes because we found that people were just getting stuck a lot and stuff. So. Give us feedback if you guys enjoyed the holes from attack. <laughs> <laughs> I was not even paying attention to the stream, and that snapped me right back into it. I was like looking over the side, and I heard Ta <laughs> tactical <laughs> hole. Yeah. Okay. Do you enjoy the holes, or if you want to cover it? <laughs> we hope you're happy that we filled up the holes. I didn't really see people using holes too much, except to get stuck in. I gotta fix something really quick after this match. I've never been on. Did you hear? I don't think I've been on airplane before. Is my, is hair, is my hair looking bad, Kayla? <laughs> I noticed, Tony, that when you invited me to play with you in Rookie, mm -hmm. and I was an outlaw that was higher than outlaw, yep. it doesn't give you the message um, that you're too overpowered for this mode. Oh, right. Should, uh... Oh, really? It gave it to me last round. Uh, no, but I was invited by uh, Tony. Oh, because you are invited. Right. Not like a huge thing, but... So something we actually need feedback on pretty soon from the EA community is um, if there's any new people that are trying the game and trying the bots, we don't really have a gauge of how hard the bots are for new players. So let us know if they're too hard or if you want them, hard, if they're good or if you want them harder. Um, <laughs> I've heard from, oh my uh, God. I've heard from a couple of people in conversations that. Um, they actually think the bots are just right right now, but that's the sample size of two. So, like Yusuf said, let us know. 
I think eventually we're going to make, um, maybe what we could do is make the, the bot smart. So if it auto populates, maybe it takes the, like right now they're set to petty. Maybe we can make them match your skill level. So maybe we can make a you desperate know what, bot. You know what drives me crazy about the bots is if you're playing free for all mode, they are health hogs. They go for those health packs like crazy. I know. Oh, they, they love, <laughs> they love health. <laughs> Hey, Tony, do you think you can make it so that you can blow the holes open? <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Uh, make them destructible? Don't, yeah. I, I can make it. We need a quarter to do something like that. That'd be cool, though. Yeah. You could dynamite them open. We can turn them into destructible, but then it's, the detecting the ground is the hard part. Right. And, like, bodily remains go flying everywhere? Yeah. He's my partner. He's getting whooped over here. It is rookie mode, you know. Be nice. No, I'm just curious. I was just meant, is it Chris? No. Uh, uh, Who are we fighting? We we won the last round. We're gonna get you guys. I haven't seen Chris uh, play Kit Red forever. I was playing Killer mostly this week. Yeah. I'm trying to get my Killer game up. It's hard. Oh my god, you can see that. Nice knife, buddy. Thanks. Okay, Pestilence, we can do this. Let's get this guy. <laughs> Whoa, what happened there? I hit I hit a vein. How did you do how did you escape that? <laughs> <laughs> I've been saving that move. <laughs> The, the long distance guy. You can do this! One versus one! Yeah! Oh my god! I got three stamina, I can give it to you. Ah! Oh, you survived that. Charging your ult shot? Oh! Whip! Oh! Oh wow, I'm just uh, going back reading through the chat all the stuff I missed. A, a lot of people enjoy holes. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of votes for the holes. Oh, holes a hole? Oh, you're gonna die, Curse? Oh my god, he missed? Oh my god! Ah. That was a tough one, man. <laughs> oh yeah, Gordo Ground Pound breaking those open to any, uh, probably any kind of like, destructible, just making it destructible, any of those moves would work for opening them up. Good game. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna fix something really quick, so I'm gonna put the 12 clock image put back on. Back up? <laughs> yeah, and then I'll be back in. No, I'll fix this in like a five seconds. Oh my god, I got 2600 bounty for that. Because I'm higher than uh, I'm Renegade or whatever. Wow, I got two level ups from Petty to Bandit. I'm gonna spend some perk points, boys. <laughs> Good work, Pestilence. Okay, and I'm back. Okay, uh, so should we do threes? Sure. All right. Let's switch over to threes. Kaylee or Yus, who wants to be the third? Who wants to be on webcam? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll do this so I'm not uh, in the grit. So, Kaylee or Yusuf? Who's going to be See. third? Uh, Kaylee. Okay. Sure. Oh yeah, um, gamer husband. We all use controllers. You know what, guys? We need some feedback on our keyboard and mouse stuff because um, I haven't been hearing much feedback on it. Besides, like you know, we have keep control mapping and stuff. But other than other than buttons, is the keyboard and mouse, you know, um, working for you guys? Okay, like for keyboard and mouse users, because every time I try it. I'm not a keyboard and mouse user, so I, I hate it. So I think I need to rely on people that actually enjoy keyboard and mouse to give us some feedback on it. Um, just the last thing we want to do is get some surprises when we launch the full game, get bad reviews or something based on people's expectations. 
so yeah, give us some give us some feedback on the keyboard and mouse stuff. Let us know what if something needs to uh, if it's feeling the way you'd expect. One thing we're gonna add is we're gonna add menus like so that you can control the menus with the mouse. That's that's some feedback we've been getting. Yeah. And the best way to give us feedback is um, the forums, either the Steam or our actual forum, where you'll see a, a link pop up in the um, chat on the side here. Uh, those those are the two best places to go. That's where we we read all the time and respond to people. So. Oh, I didn't see who we were playing. We oh, got you got Captain Walrus, Habakkuk, and oh. Chico Rojo. <laughs> oh, nice. I like your names. Yeah. Guys, we've been getting... Uh, I've been seeing user reviews come in. Uh, it's incredible. I've been seeing user reviews come in, and over and over again, they call out the community. They're like, the game, the community for this game is amazing. And that's... Uh, that's all you guys, and it's, it's really helping us a lot. Um, Kili, have you been seeing that? Whoa. Yeah, yeah, and it's something that's like, it's like a dream come true. Like, one of our biggest fears is that we have a positive community because of how competitive gaming communities often are. And uh, it's a real credit to, to everyone um, in our community and all the guys that help us day in and day out, like Jin and Chai, and, uh, well, you all know who the regulars are, that, that we have such a, like, a, a healthy and vibrant community. It's, uh, and it's awesome. Yeah, the um, the community has been really welcoming to new players. If you guys see someone in the game, you've been saying, "Hey, jump on the chat," and and um, we're inviting them and adding them as friends. And that's that's exactly the way that the game is going to grow. Like it's it's a grassroots game, and it, it grows as as you see a player welcome in, bring them into the community, and then they seem to they just become an ambassador of the game. You guys have been doing a great job. We've been having a hard yeah, time getting any coverage on, on Steam itself, so a lot of the growth that's been happening has actually just been like community-driven growth. And we'll do our best to keep expanding the game and making it better, and you guys can help us with that. There'll yeah, be a sorry, Silence, I should, have, I should have called you out too when I was naming Jin and Chai, but you've been a massive help too. Oh, like Yvelephant and like Lion. Oh yeah, all those guys. All those yeah. guys. Our trail yeah, guys. But even just like not being a jerk when you're having a match, like people are like, "Good game," or "Hey, i you're new," you know, and talking yeah, to you them. You should try this. Yeah, I I think that I really wish we went and added chat in the game as one of our first features. You know. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And you know, if you guys have any ideas on things that we could do to help the community too, um, you know, make sure to let us know because we're we're all about like. Keeping what's what's happening with the community going and anything we can do to help it, we uh, we definitely want to. Behind you, Kaylee. Right. Oh, never mind. I'm just here, Miller. Healing. So yeah. So next week. I'm going to be making some more changes. Um, I'm going to be shortening... So Poncho got a little bit of a buff because he got his stun time shortened. Um, some other changes that I'm going to be making are I'm going to decrease the cone of the shotgun characters. So Deserter and, Sh and Phantom Poncho. They're going to have a slight reduction in the width of their shots. And um, I'm going to bring the range in just a little bit. Um, Deserter is going to have a slightly longer uh, wait period before f snipe shots, um, and um, yeah, th those are going to be some some of the big, some of the more fine adjustments. Oh, and the desert, um, Matador's blind time is going to be shortened a little bit. I like those changes. Yeah? Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that feels... I think that's, that's awesome. Um, wait, what's the... Now that we've got AI in those other modes, what's the next sort of big feature that we're working on? On AI? Um, or AI or like or otherwise. So, how AI works right now is the very first layer we built was that they can run around the environment 
And then what we did is we built on top of that that they can all fire their primary weapons and reload and find a player and find health packs and stuff. So it's just kind of stuff that's global to all the characters. Um, but they don't have an awareness yet of their secondary weapons or their special attacks. Those are like specific ones. Like, so Killer, he'll be able to evade when you're aiming at him. He'll be able to shoot, reload. He'll be able to fight really well with his gun, but he doesn't know about his knife or he doesn't know about his rapid fire moves, those kind of things. So the next step is we're going to start ex ex extending their AI to include the special abilities. You'll see Deserter AI start doing snipes and stuff like that. Um, so but we're building it in layers. The reason we're building it in layers is to get it playable first so that people can start playing around with it. And then, uh, and it's just a smart way of going and, you know, just getting the basics on the characters first. But in a way, that's just how a real player plays anyways. When they first start playing, they learn to run around, shoot, reload, evade, and then they start learning the more complex moves. Um, once that's done, we're going to be quickly extending the tutorial a little bit so that the tutorial I don't know if you guys noticed uh, Kaylee I don't know if you noticed this but the tutorial used to just tell you to do moves now it hmm. tells you to do moves and test them on an opponent and then you have a little fight with an opponent and then we're going to be extending that a little bit too oh awesome yeah no I didn't know I haven't been in a tutorial in a while yeah what we were finding before is you tell a player this is how you reload this is how you shoot but then they like go into a match and they forget, they really panic and they forget everything. So I think we need to just get them doing it, getting them to do a whole fight using those moves before they go online. I think we should have a tutorial for um, for, for Gordo players to not shoot their friends in the back. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is your friend. Okay, late. <clears throat> <laughs> it's hard. It's hard with Gordo. Yeah, I it's hard with Jenny. Killer apparently too. <laughs> <laughs> With Killer, it should be easier. Yeah, my invite Killer. But, uh, I tried just, like annihilating me last night in, in team play. I just don't complain about it like some other people. <laughs> so guys, we have some other, some other stuff behind the scenes we've been working on. Um, we have a new game mode, and we have some new outlaws. And Tony's actually working on some new maps too. So when the game, the full game comes out, it's not going to be like. It's going to it's going to be like a significant jump. There's going to be it's going to feel like a new game, like Secret Punch is Secret oh, Punch is 2. Yeah. <laughs> we just call it that. You know what? If we may, if we call this Secret Punch is 2 because it it's basically it's it's a bigger jump than Street Fighter to Street Fighter Champions Edition. If we called it something new and just re-released it, we would have way better visibility on Steam and all that kind of stuff. It's um unfortunately the way the system works is uh it's like new game. Yeah, you, you get a lot more credit for like something new than if you enhance something. Even if you make, even if your enhancements are a new product that you could. That's interesting. Yeah. But uh, you get you get more more credit for something that's called something new, not necessarily. Is yeah. Totally new. Yeah, that's what we're learning. But you know what? We just we really want to um, surprise players with this content. So I think it's going to be a good. So just. As long as our community knows and champions that this is going to be like, there's a lot of new content coming. Um, the game's going to grow quite a bit over the next uh, over the next nine weeks. Silence is voting that we call it hidden raincoats, and I was about to make fun of them that it makes no sense when I realized <laughs> <laughs> it makes all the sense. <laughs> it makes as much sense as the current name. Yeah, we're, it we're sound also, we are looking at though at um, branding it so people just know that this isn't the same secret ponchos that it was six months ago it's like we're going from four out or when we launched on early access we had like four guys and this the game we're, we're hoping to have like eight or nine when by the time we launch um, what should we so we want to give it a hyphenated name like secret ponchos you know um, reloaded edition or something would you if our community has any feedback, we're looking for we're looking for a name that is super. It's wet spaghetti western, and that it's super clear that this version is like fully loaded. Like it's 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 got a whole bunch of new content. So that that's really uh. It, about fully it's, loaded. Fully loaded. <laughs> <laughs> fully loaded is one of our our ones that we've been tossing around. Um, yeah. What else? What else, Kaylee? Do you have in the in your in your brainstorm list? Oh man, 
Uh, I think the top two are most wanted. Most Secret wanted. Secret Poncho's most wanted and Secret Poncho's fully loaded. Edition. The edition on the end there. Yeah, most wanted edition. Yeah. I think those are sort of like the when you when you went we went down the list, I think that's sort of what the most people most people have responded to is one of those two. But there's a whole I'd have to pull up the list, I can't remember. There's 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 a lot on there. What about uh Secret Poncho Minecraft edition? <laughs> yeah, Lego, <laughs> Lego, Lego secret ponchos. <laughs> iPops is saying he can't wait to see it on PS4, and yeah, we're really excited to get this out on PS4, and and Sony seems excited about the uh, all the updates we've been doing, like AI and stuff. Um, I, I think Steam it's, it's just died. It's gonna feel like a totally new game to those guys. Yeah. I think Steam just died, you guys. I got my connection lost thing, and no one's joining, so. Um, let me try. Uh, I'll, I'll just restart. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'll restart too. All right, back to that picture. <laughs> yeah. Come back music? No? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Kaylee's, what happened to the comeback music? The gate, Kaylee's the gatekeeper of that. Kaylee, you gotta call it. We've been winning. We're too much winning. Everything's going wrong, eh? We're trying to show the AI. There's too many people. We're trying to play <laughs> the comeback music. All we can do is win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so guys. Are you excited about um, excited about uh, Evo? Oh yeah. man, yeah. how's it going? No, I don't know, Chris. <laughs> yeah, we should figure that out. All holes patches. <laughs> All holes <laughs> patched. <laughs> Plus one for that for me. I like yeah. that one. Yeah, awesome. I can't. For, for me, the what's for me the most exciting thing about this update is that the matchmaking is way better from what we've been doing on early access. It's way better than what got launched on PS4 because we just learned so much. PS4 matchmaking it's pretty crazy for an indie to be making an online multiplayer game and what we did was our understanding of how an online multiplayer game came from games like League of Legends and Call of Duty. They're like games that have like millions of players. And we, we, modeling it that way for an indie game just doesn't work. So what we learned was that we need to model it different. We need to create a new structure that the game can support. The game works if you only have 10 players. And then if then from there, every, those 10 players can have a good time. It can grow. You can have 15, 20, that. Whereas the other model, you need like 100,000 people playing a game all the time for all the different modes to get populated, all the different, you know, rookie mode and rank to get populated. And um, so we learned quite a bit. I'm really excited about all these new changes because um, now the game will work no matter what. Even if it's like off hours in the middle of the night, people can fire up and just fill bots into the slots. Um, you know, and, and um, the stuff like the mode voting, all that kind of stuff is really exciting. But I mean, that stuff is not going to really excite new customers. That like, like They're not going to go like, oh, great. That, Matchmaking is better. <laughs> so I think for those guys, they're gonna really get excited about all the new content, like seeing that, just seeing the roster jump up from from five characters at PS4 launch to uh, you know to eight or nine. Yeah, Steam is totally dead. Exciting. Steam's dead. Why don't you shut back on, Tony? You got on, Kaylee? Yeah, I just got how, on. It took a how while. Are you the only one that can get on? <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm just stuck in the login. My Steam is resyncing now. I um, can't even get in. Want me to show something? What do you yeah, want to show? Yeah, show some of those renders you've been working on. Sure. And actually, let's go through yeah some of the concepts. Uh, let me open this up. So our community, we're actually setting up a, a Secret Poncho's blog, and the blog is going to be um, different from our website or our forums. Our blog is going to be a series of articles from us. So Chris is going to write an article on music or sound related stuff. Um, Tony will do one on the modeling process or you know and we'll we'll just kind of give you guys insights into it's just our chance to be honest and just put out there things that are interesting to us throughout development like a developer diary kind of thing. So um, we'll we'll update everybody with that pretty soon. So yeah, I've been rendering some uh, art for early sizes. Yeah, I've been rendering some art for uh, 
for the blog and you know other media outlets and so it's pretty cool pretty glad um I'm, I start doing it I'll probably do some rotations soon to show off these art just you know high poly models look like toys when you render them properly <laughs> we need uh we need to get a 3d printer now yeah like they look so good like as toys I would love to have them on my desk so we got like um grit skin deserter set brush here and then we got a gordo one looks so awesome and then kid red you have gordo yeah I have gordo I did oh he looks nice night. Yeah, I got Kit Red. I got Grit Skin Killer. Grit Matador. Got Phantom here. And then Wolf Girl. I did Wolf Girl last night too. I like the pedestal. Nice detail. Yeah, uh, the pedestal I made some like wood plank kind of thing, so it looks more like Western. Yeah, it looks like the top of a barrel or something. It's cool. Phantom looks best. Whoa, Wolf looks sweet. For me, I like Wolf the most, and then I like Gordo. It's hilarious. Tony, you should model a little like sculpting tool, like a little chisel and stuff, and just lay it on the uh, lay it next to the. <laughs> <laughs> uh, silence. Yeah, the new skins. Will, but when we do the PC launch, the new skins will be available. Yeah. Cool. Skins. Skins will be available for purchase. They won't. Um, they won't be like, you know, included in the game or anything. But it'll be. It's so cool to see. It just really changes the feel. It feels like there's so many different characters when you see the skins running around. Well, there's stuff. Let me show. Huh. I don't have anything. I'm playing uh, the combat music in the background. How's that? Nice. Yeah, I like it. I can't hear it, but I'll uh, assume. It's like my working music. This is my working music. What else should we show? Oh, um, I don't know. Kelly, <laughs> take off his shirt. Kelly, want to take his shirt off? <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to see that. We need to get we need to get a tip jar installed on our Twitch stream, and then I'll do it. Do you want to show off the new level in the engine? <laughs> We're a webcam sure. now. Let's do that. All right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tell Kelly what you want him to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Steve is totally pooch. Not Thanks, the new Steve. Tony, not the new new level, but the new the finish era one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I should. What does it say on sign? Can you explain a little more, gamer husband? Oh, I think Steve might be back up. Preparing to launch Sugar Ponchos. Okay. Well, game's loading, but I'm not sure if there's a connection yet until I get in. Well, I can't even log on to Steam at all. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh yeah, it looks like it's looks like I'm okay. Oh, now it's working. Oh. Yay. You guys wanna see the level? Yeah, let's show the level right. real quick. I'm loading. This is a fun level. Um, I can't log in. Neither, I can't either. 
Kaylee, you have like unicorns today for horses on your internet? <laughs> yeah. Well, they're still pretty slow unicorns, but. Oh, I got in Steam. It's the second try. I think everyone's just trying at the same time. Wow, my machine is, doesn't like having all these programs up. That's a good idea for a level, Silence. Silence is promoting a matted or bullfighting like arena. Yeah, yeah, we were yeah. we were thinking about that. Um, yeah, we were we were looking at that earlier. Oh. What's wrong with you, Mr. Engine? Everything broken on over here. <laughs> Well, if anyone wants to play some games, I'm going to be in 3v3. Hi, Phoenix Knight. Good evening to Europe. So we just had um, Steam go down. It's going back up, so we might have a little bit of difficulty. Um, so just to recap, the things that we've added this week, uh, the most exciting thing is that we've extended our, we've, our new AI stuff. We've now added it so that you can play team games in it. So in rookie mode, that's where you can do it. You can have any number of players in your lobby from one to four. And if you hit start with AI, it'll auto-populate the missing slots with AI and you can just start the match instantly. And so that now works for deathmatch, domination. I think we even added free-for-all mode to rookie. Um, Tony, is that in? Yep, that's it. Yeah, so that's a new, another addition is now rookie mode, rookie guys can vote for free-for-all matches. So, yeah, this is the little level. It's, uh... Yeah, I love the torches and smoke. Like, um, like the Ford kind of look. And then you have two main bays, which works with our new game mode. Um, hopefully we can play with the community soon. Um, for the new mode. Uh, yeah. So, there's two base, you know, you spawn right here. And where's the shop and the minions and the, uh, <laughs> the jungle and the, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's the jungle area and these are the towers now. So, yep, there's the, the middle spot where it's like, you, you put the um, double damage there. That's cool. It's really fun taking cover. I love taking cover behind the sandbags and then falling back as they come and taking cover behind those... Um, the fence. Yeah. I like that there's like a big wide open area where you kind of have to commit. You know, it's like this no mm -hmm. man's land. It's like storming. It's like, tr it's like trench warfare. Yeah. So what I found out like from playing the game so much now that every character has like areas that were maps that they're really good in. So when I think um, when Yus designed the map, uh, he wanted these open areas for characters like Mad Door and Deserter and Phantom, but he wants to, like, you know, tighter areas near the base and around the outside for like killers and kit reds um, and gordos so you basically have like this is kind of like like a combination of uh, like some of the maps that we like and then we put them together just to create like this new kind of like style map pretty fun a lot of arrows eh? yeah so wolf, some wolf girls so been nuts going on wolf yeah <laughs> oh the wolf yeah and I that th dead body hanging on this beam. You can't hide in the coffins, but you can hide behind them. <laughs> <laughs> Tribute to a Once Upon a Time in the West. Cool. Yeah, that's the new level. And I'm cool. working on another one. Hopefully I can show that off like maybe in a few weeks. Oh man, that would be a cool mode. iPops is saying 12 on 12 war in this map. Everyone has one life. That would be really fun, yeah. The net code would Match, be very fun. Matchmaking makes me sick to my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it would be super fun. Maybe we can merge, um, like, uh, if, like, if two lobbies merge. This is six people. We need four lobbies. <laughs> Why does it seem like Tony does everything in one week? <laughs> or week on week? <laughs> um, because he pretty much does. <laughs> we, we all we we all cheer him on, give him massages, bring him coffee. He does all the work. Oh, cool. Shutting this down. 
So I don't know if Steve might still be messed up. I'm in I'm in game right now and I can't find anybody. I uh, can't even get it to turn on. Show the AI. You don't need um you don't need other players for AI. Uh, can we can't I, get into Steam. I can't get on to Steam. I can't get on to oh, Steam okay. either. I just click it and nothing happens. You know what, while we're waiting, why don't I raffle off the soundtrack? Do that. Yeah. Let's do it. Raffle. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera on Kaylee. Will I, will I do the raffle? Yeah, it's gonna be... Oh man, I need like <laughs> I need like a string I can pull for like confetti and balloons to rain down. We, you know what, had to ask you how much we sleep. We actually, it's really weird because like, when we all worked at AAA Studios, um, one of the big things that you talk about in AAA Studios is work-life balance. Because you're working for somebody else, you're really fighting to have your free time that you can just have to yourself. But when you're making your own game, you work for yourself, and every second that you have, you, you kind of want to make the game better, your game better, because you're you just want your game to be as good as possible. So you end up working like crazy hours. Um, we all, yeah, we all end up working like seven days a week on it and long, long hours. But it's because we love the game and we just want it to be as good as possible. We don't want to miss an opportunity to make it better, you know. So sometimes we have a choice of just slacking off or adding a new, you know, map or something. We always, we always seem to take the hard road. <laughs> We've learned a lot, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Doing the draw right now. The winner is. Come on, Mubot. Uh. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> this makes great. <laughs> Mubot's uh, refusing to. Oh, Switchblade Monkeys is the winner. <laughs> Yay! Oh, oh man. That. Oh no, that's I, not me. I, I want I'm it. Super I want it. <laughs> okay, do another one. <laughs> I'll do another draw here, hold on. I never won anything on this. Poop bot. <laughs> Chris, do you have any Chris, what are you what's up your sleeve for the um for the for, for the launch in terms of uh, audio? He's sleepless uh, there, right now. There's gonna be a... there's gonna be an a supplement E P album that's gonna come out. Oh my god, that's so cool. So it'll oh, have, yeah, it'll have. There were a few songs that made squeaked in for the hunting grounds update that never made, were on the original soundtrack. So those songs plus new songs that will come out for the the final release will be on the album. That's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do a pass on. Um, I'm gonna sneak a pass on some of the visual effects and presentation, and then. Maybe Chris, if you're in, let's let's tag team it and hit hit it hit those yeah, up. Yeah, for sure. Splashy audio. Oh, nice! I got a I, I, game. I, I, I got a three v three here with Jin and uh, Captain Walrus. What's so, going on? I can't log in the Steam. Here, I'm gonna try searching quick match. The other thing is we I, have. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, Chris, I closed my Steam completely and reopened it. Yeah, but mine's not even open to close. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. I can't close it because it's not. It's already closed. Yeah. Oh, I think Yusuf just joined. I did. I might have to restart my computer. Steam error. I always start dot computer. So, what do you guys think about our policy of no bots in rank matches? Is that good? Because in rank, you can play one versus one too. Yeah, no bots. Uh, maybe we could do something where, like, at a certain rank. After a certain rank, you don't get credit for killing bots, like in terms of kill death or something like that. Because it is like it is pretty easy to murder bots when you if you're playing against them and you're a high level. Yeah, and rank is where everything gets competitive, and we want to keep everything on even ground for climbing, climbing rank and stuff. Yeah, I think we should uh, up the uh, up the uh, the rookie. To a higher level, so like outlaw is really quick for them. Yeah. You don't really get that good at 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 rookie um at outlaw yet. I think maybe we, you know, increase that threshold to I don't know like renegade or something. Then yeah, and let's keep rank pure. But then the good thing is, um, there is one versus one, so people can, you know, and it's quick match, so people can, um, 
if ranked is not low times a night, people can still find matches because they just need one more player. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's keep yeah. rank, rank bot free. Keep it pure. Is there a so we were talking about Western words for bots? Is there something else we could use? Or bots is good. I guess bots people know what it is. Yeah, I think we should stick with bots. Oh my god, it's been using my webcam the whole time. I'm wearing these stupid headphones for. <laughs> I you just like how on the on the webcam, Kaylee and Chris has this full grown beard and I'm like hairless on my face. I'm growing your beard as well. Yeah, that's thanks, why. Dude. <laughs> yeah, Chris, has, Chris has enough hair for the whole team. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, we need one more. One more killer. The old man killer team. Oh, the yeah, other bit of news it. I guess you could share is that if any of you guys are in the Seattle area are going to PAX Prime, it's looking uh, it's looking good for us going to PAX Prime. We'll have a booth there, and it'd be uh, it'd be awesome to meet people in person. It's always fun. Okay, I think it's working. Yeah, my Steam is updating now. So Wolf Guys is his first time playing with people. Yeah, and he Wolf Guys gave us an awesome review too. Thanks for the write up, Wolf Guys. We, we, you know, well, something everybody can, we, we say this every stream, but in case anyone's new to our stream today, one thing you can do to help us is to write a review. Ever since we came out with the new, um, the new big update, we've had so many positive reviews versus like one or two negative reviews, and it's been, it's been great, and it's a really good way to help us, um, help spread the word, and we have a ton of old reviews that are out of date and, and inaccurate now, just things we fixed ages ago, so just get writing an up-to-date review can really help us out. Yeah, last thing we need is somebody going, don't buy this game, it doesn't have keyboard and mouse, and then... Oh, I know. And people never revisit their reviews. I really wish Steam would let us, like, at least comment on a review or, or flag it as, like, developer fixed or addressed or something. Like, ha like easily 80% of the negative reviews are things that we fixed ages ago, so... But, I mean, that's how it goes. Best way to combat it is to write up-to-date reviews. I think it's been been great though. The people have been actually a lot of people have been readjusting their reviews and stuff, so that's great. Mhm. Mm okay, I fixed my. Uh, uh, Steam is working for me. Yeah, I'm loading now too. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, but our overall review score since we did the update, we had um, I think we had like 50 new reviews and like 47 of them were positive. And so it's like it's like like almost ninety five percent have been positive. So our our total review score, including the old ones, went up from seventy percent to like seventy eight percent since the update. So if we can get up to, to past eighty, like a, you know, if we can keep this trajectory, then it means um, it'll show up a lot better. It'll show up as uh, very positive when people look at it. And um, I think that's important when new users are are checking out the game. They look at those. You know, just like I couldn't join Tony. Is it overwhelming? Especially when it's like not a recognized brand or something, right? That's all you really got to go on is people's opinion. So Tony, I got a, a an interesting feedback from Jin just now. He said the uh, the new lobby screen mm -hmm. are uh, like murdering his machine's ability to like. Oh yeah. It, yeah. Okay, I'll take another Being look like at it. like a huge drop in performance. Okay. But if anyone else is noticing, let us know. I couldn't join, Tony. It said full. Oh. Oh, maybe I... Oh, I started the match quick. I was just playing, uh, gonna play the bot 2v2. Okay. I'll just finish this game. I'll kill these bots. I'm in a match with, uh... So these this is the bots. 
one round one for me. Or is it just you against bots, Tony? Me and bot versus uh, bot bot. Oh, I'm oh in a match. Oh my god, they're murdering me, running away. Murray just got dominated. So Browser Steel is saying he's, he keeps getting his game crashing after the intro. Is it working for Browse? Did it just happen like today or has this been happening all week or something? Okay, he's gonna send us the uh... Oh! Something else guys we added. Um, ch you can now chat in the match results screen and in the bounty screen. So you can continue your conversation from the match. It, it kind of abruptly ended before. So now you can just talk after the game as long as you want. Yeah, and you know one thing that you could do also to help people along is encourage people to make friends and get people into the group chat, the game group chat. That's where a lot of like communication and organizing games has been happening and I think a lot of people have been really good at recommending others do it. If you do see new people on there, um, maybe try to direct them to the group chat and, uh, and then we can make sure to keep people in the game. Well, I got an invite. I'm on my way. Uh, hey Jin, I uh, we, there's no changes to the bounty screen. Oh, other than the chat box. Yeah, maybe there's a mistake somewhere. We'll take a look. I'll write these notes down. Oh, did we fix the button prompts on the bounty screen, or does it still say X? Uh, we still say X, but it will be fixed soon. We're looking at a system where we can. The user and their options can tell the game if they have a PlayStation controller or Xbox controller. Because we have both sets of buttons made already. Um, so if we can just make the game smart about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tony, maybe show people how you can uh, invite people as friends in the lobby. For those that don't know, in the lobby screen, you can, you can move over to the right-hand column with the gangs, and you can invite people to become your friends right from that screen. Yep. There's a missing hut for it, but we'll add that yeah. in soon, yeah. Hmm. Are you guys in a match right now? We're in a pregame. Oh, I'm in a fight. We just had a killer join up. That's me. Remember that one stream, Kaylee, where I was just like looking for you? And ignoring your whole team, <laughs> killing you. <laughs> I was getting mad. I know. <laughs> that was so fun. It's hard too because uh, um, my life sometimes works for me, but sometimes it's like against like killers, it's really hard because uh, your accuracy is really good, and on my screen it looks like I'm um, I'm f I'm home free because there's always like a little bit of delay. I can never tell if I'm like escaping or not. I'm gonna do it again today. Uh, which one? Which one are you? <laughs> get red? Are you Gordo? Yeah, I'm a I'm a deserter. Okay. Big ghost. What happened to Jen? No, I'm uh, I'm Gordo. I could tell by your lag, you're Gordo. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Jin's uh, number one rank? I think there's a wipe happening, Tony. I'm I got my character got wiped too. I'm like number 200 now, I used to be number 11. Oh. Where are you on the leaderboard? Yeah, I'm, look at your rank. I'm like 200 too. Yeah, I think I think something happened. Maybe because of the EA preview? Oh no, Chivy is up there. Yeah, but Chivy hasn't played since our update this morning. Oh wow, so it's actually really good to see, um, one thing about early access is we're testing our ranking system, so we're seeing how long it takes people to progress each season. So it looks like Ch Chivy's the highest, with um, Silver 
What is he? Silver level 3? Mm -hmm. No, a 8. Oh, silver level 8, so he's almost going to be gold. So... That's pretty good. I think it's progressing pretty well. How long has it been? Um, two weeks? Three weeks? Oh yeah. Maybe it has to do with the characters. We need one more to get this uh, get this going. Oh, um, Gamer Husband's asking about the super match that you guys had, or that Beefy Bob had. Oh, that was oh, yeah. We talk about that. It was that was epic. That was like the proper use of the word epic. It was crazy. <laughs> you watched it, right, Tony? Yeah, yeah. you're watching I'll, it with I'll me. I'll send the link. Yeah. We, I link it on our. So the first round was a tie, which is like super, super rare that like two characters will end with the same amount of health and go to a, another round. So it actually went four rounds, and then uh, they each took a round, and then in round three, it was like this standoff fight for the first like minute or so, and then all of a sudden it just was just like this huge flurry, and it's deserters, so there's a ton of health, and it was just like blam, 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 like back and forth, like watching their health bars go down until uh, Silence finally, finally lost, and it was just by a hair. Like I couldn't even tell who won until the cards came up because it was happening fast. Man, it was this awesome. is crazy. They're so, yeah, they're so good. Was watching a deserter battle slow, or was it like high, high paced? No, it gets crazy because they get close and then they start doing like the, the shoulder checks and shooting and and then. Oh, oh it's in that the was mines too, right? Eh? Well, uh, um, uh, oh shoot, what's his name again? Uh, beef versus. Typical. Uh, yeah, typical pick mines because uh. Beefy's really good at the dash snipe now with his claw grip, um, and that's something that um, typical couldn't do. So he said if he pick an open map, then it would actually be more. Um, it would help. Uh, would help uh, Beefy uh, strategy more. So he picked the mine just to take that away from Beefy. Oh my God, that's crazy! Yeah, it was so tactical. Their interviews were were awesome too. They did interviews after, and it was it was super interesting. Did they say, well, you know, he's the tough competitor, I'd like yeah. to thank, thank oh. God, the trainer. <laughs> <laughs> Could have done about my team. You know, he was the better man today. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was really interesting to hear them talk strategy, like, there's so much of the thought that went into it, uh, it was, yeah, it was, it was really cool. Ah, oh, crap, sorry, I just... Quit. Yeah. Chris, you abandoned us. I, I got confused. I was watching the fight. I got confused which window to close. <laughs> I you like I like game two. When, I quit the um, match. Yeah. When it was like a snipe battle for um, like the first match, and then uh, match to uh, beefy turn up the pace and and did that rush tactic and totally messed it uh messed uh, typical's uh, strategy, and then yeah. round three was just epic because they're trying to like readapt each other. Yeah, it was, it was it was really exciting. Oh my god! And so much on the line too. Oh wow, he's got three rolls of gauze and a <laughs> giant heroin needle. <laughs> 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 That's what he does with, with his med kit. Yeah, Jin, that was two e three. <laughs> oh, and just so everyone knows, there's a there's a tournament happening, a community event. Um, there's a tournament happening next weekend in, for the PC community. Um, I'll, I'll post a link. I'll grab, I'll grab the link from our forum and post it in here. Unless you, unless you have the link handy, you can post it. But um, we're trying to get a tournament. The community's trying to get a tournament going for next week. So make sure you sign up. They're lots of fun. They're really fun to watch too. How did my webcam get moved? 
That's a good branding shot, Tony. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because of this. Because you guys chatted and moved my webcam up. Oh yeah, thing. everybody's fault. You know who we haven't seen? I've never seen Chris and um, Tony fight each other. It's because we're too good of friends. We like the Klitsch guys. I like this change in direction. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of... <laughs> Usually the, the end of the stream death matches come down to... Um... Me and Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or it's Kaylee and someone. Kaylee's usually... <laughs> Kaylee's usually picking on somebody oh, throughout, the, yeah. uh, throughout the stream, and then there's comes the gloves come off. <laughs> I'm, an outrage. I'm the victim. <laughs> we should end it. We should end it with a death match between. How? How about um? What do you guys you think? And, you and Kaylee. No, no, I did it last time. I felt really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fight Chris. Okay, do it. Let's see it. Just do it now? Yeah. Alright. You guys need to do some trash talking to build it up. Yeah, to make fun of the here. Okay, build up the fight. Hey, sir, Tony. <laughs> Chris, um, I'll drop. show you the real Phantom. Learn how to play him properly, <laughs> man. Chris is only good because of his lagomite. Now, what's he gonna do? But we fixed it. I never have like. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even lagging. Like. <laughs> I'm just showing. I'm, I'm just showing you how to trash talk. Okay? I just can't read it anymore, man. I, I read it on the forums. That's how it, it goes. <laughs> and then there's Tony's all talk. He just blames his teammates for every loss. Not every loss. That's too much to do. I, I do blame when course. when someone unload twenty clips into my back. Let's see. Well, well, this will be your chance to prove it when you don't have uh, a teammate to blame. All right, which map, Chris? Uh, I don't care. Yeah, how about this? You guys fight each other, the winner fights one challenger from the community. So it could be like Jin or whoever, and let's see. How do we pick who? You have to, the winner of you guys. Raffle. It's a oh, raffle. Oh, we, we, we pick? <laughs> that's, that's raffle a challenger. Okay. Yeah. Alright, Chris, I'm fighting you to a private oh. match. Oh, I'm gonna watch this. This could be the perfect time to use the comeback music too. We're both we're both drifters. All right, the comeback music. I'm well, I'll use it during the match. Whoever's losing. Well, I can't gets the click on music. it while I'm playing. <laughs> you just want Tony to lose. Oh my God, Kelly, who are you batting on? Uh, who are they? Who are they choosing for outlaws? Oh, phantoms. Uh, I'm gonna go with Tony. I'm gonna go with Chris because Tony's been working too hard. I know he's a little sleep deprived. <laughs> <laughs> Chris might have the edge on this. Uh, we were both up. Hey there. everyone, I'm posting. Uh, I'm posting the link to the PC tournament sign up in our forum. Still, this just deletes his character. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything for us because our, pe our characters are all like petties and bandits and stuff. Yeah. We wipe them all the time because of testing. Is the match on? Yeah. I'm trying Watching to watch it, stream. but my stream says loading video. It's good, it's close right now. Okay, comment comment on it. So who's winning? Well, I'm watching the okay. delay, so because I'm watching the Twitch stream. Right now, right now, Tony's got a, a good lead. Actually, he's got Chris down. Oh, Chris is down a half. Oh, but he got Tony. Tony's down a half. Now they're they're tentatively in a standoff. Tony's loaded up. Oh man, nice one. Neither of them wants to engage in close combat right now. Oh, here we go! They're inside. Oh, your commentary is like uh, times two the delay because you're commentating on the past. <laughs> I know. I'm not saying I'm commentating on like watching the stream. So I'll invite you to the <laughs> next game, and then we can just. 
And you can watch. Well, the next game will be a community game, right? Yeah. We need to get, um... We need to get spectator mode in the game. That'd be so cool. Yeah, it would be cool. Come on, Chris. Tony can't even grow a beard. You can do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if um, if Chris loses, he shaves his beard. Win-win. <laughs> <laughs> and if if. Uh, if Chris wins, he shaves his beard and Tony has to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> or Chris shaves another area. Tony has to get out of that. <laughs> I will get some, get some glue and some tape and Tony has to wear it for 24 hours. <laughs> tape! Uh. <laughs> There's no way I can win this. <laughs> Tony will never lose. <laughs> Nobody wants to lose that. <laughs> uh, this is a good match, it's super close. I think Chris might take this one. You know, early on we made a decision in our game that um, to allow, and obviously oh. it was, we didn't have too many characters, but now as we have more characters coming in, I still like the way we decided that each team in some games like League of Legends, each team can only have one of each archetype. But it's kind of cool to see, uh, I don't know, the double kid reds and the triple kid reds and stuff. What do you think, Kelly? Do you like that? Oh yeah, I totally, I totally agree. It, it, it's, it's almost like, like a, a mathematical formula, right? Where you have the more variables, the, the more variety in gameplay there is. And I think it really uh. changes the strategy too. Like if you mm -hmm. have two Gordos on someone's team or two Deserters, or you really have to adjust how you play as opposed to if there's just one. I, I think right. it keeps the game feeling really, really fresh too. I, I really like it. Although I'm terrified of an all poncho team. That's like, that's like my... Uh, what about all deserter? Well, when you see like all something, you know they're up to something. Like. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of like Warcraft when you see all undead, you know like they're gonna do like this really Annoying rush. And I'm surprised there's not all Matador teams that have like, formed because I feel like that would be really scary. Oh yeah, especially because their spears compound on each yeah, other. Yeah, like if they all start blinding and then everybody's crit hitting. Mm hmm. I never see reports or feedback about that kind of stuff. You know. Yeah, it's true. Killer, I know. Killer was super annoying if you have another killer on your team because you lose your knife because of that bug. I'm so glad that bug got fixed. Oh no! Yeah. And it's nice. We we have the fix for the. I missed the uh, the beginning. We have the fix for the uh, dino the lagomite in this one, right? Yeah, lagomite's fixed. Um, Gordo had a version of Ligamite that's also been fixed. Um, mm -hmm. Matador's full speed execute has been fixed. Matador has been tuned now, so her pounce move needs one stamina unit. So it 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 means um, you just got to be a little bit uh, more strategic with setting up that move. And um, yeah, Killer Killers um, got his knife thing. And uh, here we go, more fixes coming. Phantom Poncho stunt. Oh. It's been reduced. Nice one, Tony. So Good game. That's yeah. Tight. Oh man, I didn't. Oh, yeah, see by... yeah that, that was an awesome game. By the okay. way, everyone, too, spread, spread the word. There's only two days left in a forty percent off buy one get one pre sale um, on Secret Ponchos. And I, like like I was saying last stream, I don't think there'll ever be a deal this good on our game. So you know, get everyone you know to to get in there. This is the best time to to get on board.
Yeah, the game's actually going to go up in price as we hit the full version with a lot more content. We've always been saying that we're discounting our early access because it's like a baby version of the game. And uh, when the full version comes out, it's going to be fully loaded. So uh, anyone who got on early access had to put up with a lot of empty lobbies and a lot of developer streams and stuff like that. So we, we want you guys to have a, a better deal and you guys are going to get, get the fully loaded upgraded for free. Um, yeah, but get it. Tell your friends to get on sale right now while it's out there. Mm -hmm. So, do I fight the community or? Yeah, fight. Yeah. Who's, 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 who's fighting me? Let's see. Let's tell them. Let's see. Whoever can, whoever says it first in the chat, can can fight you, Tony. Oops. You have to say, fight Tony. A hundred times. <laughs> I'm not counting. <laughs> oh, we should have had that best trash talk against Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone prepare your trash talk for next week. Okay, Hatch, will be the target. Hatch is the winner. And nice, I have him on my first list. So, uh, who wants to commentate? I can start a... Uh, I'll do it. Right. Let me do it. It'll be lag though. I don't know how to do it with lag. No, no, no. I'm gonna invite you, you to my TV game. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Right. So, are you? Okay, let me let me fire it up. Yeah. Yeah, we need to learn how to do this before we start doing some live tournaments. Is awesome. Let me just get my announcer voice ready. And uh, Tony. Um, I'm picking Phantom, so. Okay. Hey, fighting. Hey, Hatch, are you sending a light? I thought. I'm gonna pick um, Matador, so it'll be nice and fast. This will be the last game of the afternoon, too, everybody. Okay, okay. Tony, I'm ready. So if if they win, they get a raffle. Sure. If I win, I get a raffle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can take that poster off the wall and give it to yourself. Oh, Gordo versus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start this. So it's going to be a Gordo versus Phantom. All right. Are you going to do deathmatch? Do deathmatch. Okay. Why does your uh, Matador name Matt? Because <laughs> like Matador. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Tony left. <laughs> <laughs> he just fell off his chair. <laughs> where did our Where did our opponent go? But, but there he is. There. Okay. Okay, map vote. Deathmatch. Get like a blast of comeback music. All right, you can do this. Oh, look at that. Gamer Husband's gonna raffle Tony a game if he wins. Alright, here we go. Gordo with a Molotov misses as Phantom Poncho takes cover. Phantom Poncho with a deadly stun. Alright, each party has about 15% health loss. Cool oh, music, Chris. It's a battle of taking cover and poking. <laughs> oh, uh, Tony sneaks in at a couple jabs and lowers fan or Gordo. Oh, Gordo scares him away with a Molotov. And. Gordo is now at the halfway point, so is Phantom Poncho. Oh, they are both in trouble. They both stunned each other. Gordo Gatlingham, Tony has... 
Oh, Tony's dead. Had to win the match. You said you gotta get killed. As a prize, you get to kill the referee. <laughs> 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 Uh, maybe Okay, Gordo takes round one. Tony, what was what, what, your mistake there? Uh, missing too many uh, hammer shots. Okay. Uh, bad timing with the whip. Let's see if you can make the adjustments necessary. Round two. We're at the house. Using cover from the house. Gordo's killing the ref, I'm getting out of here. I don't know what's, what's going on. <laughs> Gordo's down to halfway. Tony's almost full full bar. Gordo gets a stun, but can't follow up with anything. Oh, Gordo slams him across the map. Tony lands a snipe shot, a big heavy one. And a whip attack, but doesn't follow up the stun with anything. Gordo lands fire. A slam, Gordo's almost dead, one sliver of life. And Tony takes him down. Round three. Nice. Okay, this is it, the tiebreaker. Tony comes out ready for action. Gordo throw a Molotov. They're fighting at the well. Gordo blocks the exit with flames and disappears from Tony. Tony slowly walks in, wastes a shot. Hides in the house. Oh, nice. They're keeping a distance from each other out of mutual respect. <laughs> <laughs> Each guy seems to be trying to pull off a stun before they do an attack. Oh, they're down. Gordo's down to 25%. To, uh, oh, Tony's down too. He's got it all tied up. Oh, Phantom quickly moves in with double... Was that a double all fire? No, just a single. Uh, and then you dashed in and shot. Nice. Good ending. Good game, guys. Yeah, good game. That's good, good, uh, good, good fight and calling too. But the oh yeah, and the winner is Matador. <laughs> <laughs> the ref always wins. Ref always. <laughs> <laughs> so who won? Are we doing a raffle? Or did does Tony get a raffle? I get a raffle. I got a free game. Woo! We should raffle something. Too. Yeah, we'll do a raffle here. I'll do a raffle. So you know what? That works pretty well. Having the ref in deathmatch, and the actually you could have just killed me. And then, um... Well, you couldn't have walked around, you were just stuck to me, right? No, because I can look at the game through death camps. Oh yeah, but I can only yeah, watch... Yeah, but if they're... F you can only watch your teammate, though. Yeah, yeah. Alright, guys. Great stream. So everybody, start playing the bots. Um, thank you, community, for all the positive uh, impressions you've made on new users. That's been amazing. Every almost all the new users have been saying stuff like... This game has the best community I've seen on Steam, which is a huge compliment to you guys, um, and it's helping us huge. If we had a toxic community right now, oh man, we'd be in trouble. <laughs> so yeah, you guys are you guys are helping us grow the game through grassroots, and uh, please continue. And we're, we'll keep adding the features. Um, this week we got to add a bunch of fixes, gameplay fixes, and we've added bots to deathmatch and domination and rookie. And one more thing, guys. Uh, give us feedback on the mouse and keyboard. We really want to improve on it. We just need to know um, how, basically. 
Yeah, if we need to know what people are, are, are not enjoying, so then we can assess that. Or if it's perfect, tell us too, because we just don't, we don't know. We, we, right now, we're assuming there's broken stuff we don't know about. Yeah, we're just so used to the controller that everything feels weird if we don't use it. Cool, so that's it for the week. Yeah, thanks right. everybody. We'll be on next week with another big update. Yeah. Look forward to seeing everybody then, and we'll, we'll be playing throughout the week. Many of you know this, but if you don't, uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we've committed that uh, we'll have some of our devs on there, at least a couple of us, at uh, 7 p.m. Pacific time. So make sure you pop in there if you want some games, and like we said earlier, get in the group chat. That's a great way to always get games. Awesome. See you guys online. All right. Bye, Bye guys. Bye, everybody. Everybody wave, guys, on webcam. <laughs> All right. Later. Bye-bye.